this is my second career. Firstly, I was in the military for about 30 years. Uh, and in so doing, I had the privilege to lead teams all over the globe um, for most of my previous career. So I think for me, it was about challenging my sense of leadership, both in the academic environment and also to get a sense of how that mapped into the corporate world. Uh, and in so doing, it would permit me to get a better sense of self, a better sense of um, how I could, what I could bring to the, to the corporate environment. For me, it was a new challenge, something to push myself and challenge myself. I was kind of doing the same thing quite a lot of the time. And the topic came up and the course came up and I thought actually, the, the, you know, the bits around learning about myself and different elements of leadership was something that really sparked my interest. I think that the main goal I had in mind was uh, this whole concept of being a manager and moving into leadership. So I thought this course might, uh, it wasn't just about the technical knowledge about certain of these concepts, it was about the, their practical application. And I thought actually the application of them might be things I do at the moment as a manager, but understanding how I might need to refine my approach or tailor that in certain situations might help me make that transition to, to a leadership position. I am at a strange period of my career where people are starting to call me a leader. And for me, I really wanted to get on a course to actually develop my leadership skills if I'm going to be that person. So I really wanted to understand what my personal traits were, how that impacted other people. So I really wanted to build a framework of understanding my actions and the effects on other people. In terms of developing, the biggest one for me is around my confidence. When I started this course, I was questioning myself all the time. Do I deserve to be here? Why am I here? Everyone else is really good, I'm not. The biggest thing for me is that I now believe that I do deserve to do this and I've got the skills and I have something to give. Um, I'm very much of a deliverer. I'm very solution face facing, very logical, very structured. Um, and what the, the MSC has caused me to do is to really get a sense of how I can um, take other people's lenses and apply that to a circumstance to get the best out of my leadership style, but also get the best out of my teams as well. I think self-awareness is something I've really kind of improved on initially, and now I'm going into the stages of changing and doing things differently. First and foremost, there's uh, being more considered in the work that I'm doing with the clients, taking into account the various different perspectives, various different learning styles, and how certain approaches might resonate well with my clients. Um, secondly, I think there's the work that we've been doing on our action learning groups, uh, looking at key challenges and opportunities facing the business, and applying, applying those learnings out across many uh, organizational units or operational units. And finally, to do with me, they've probably got a more engaged uh, member of the workforce, someone who better un understands their own strengths and weaknesses, but is curious about what the business is looking to do and wants to contribute to the delivery of its objectives. I've brought many facets of what I've learned thus far, both in terms of the business strategy, and so I've facilitated a number of workshops on behalf of the business, and brought some of the learnings such that we don't make the same mistakes as we've previously done. But also I brought um, a sense of my leadership into the business with a, a number of mentoring pilot schemes that we're introducing into the business. It's quite a balance. Um, I find if I'm taking an element of what we've learned at Cranfield and taking it back and working with it on my project teams, I'll count that towards the 20%. So if I'm having a group dynamic talk, applying the five dysfunctions, for example, this is an exercise I've just done, then all of that counts towards my 20%. I'm also quite rigid with my team that I have a Friday clear so that I use that Friday to work on my action learning project with my group or have calls around the group. So trying to structure my time so that I do have that space in my diary that I know I can concentrate on the work, but it can flex. So if I'm doing other elements through the week, I'll probably flex that, that Friday. I mean, it depends on the assignments that we get. So um, I've been using some of the time to do research 
Um, so I'll, I'll use 20% uh, of my time to go into the business and understand um, what the business does. Um, and that's been really beneficial because um, the strategies that we've been doing, um, I've been speaking to various people across the business to understand what it is that we do. Like we're doing a sales assignment just now and one of my roles is a client account manager. So I'm able to actually develop that assignment in parallel to my role, uh, which is really beneficial and go into to more depth and breadth than I would normally. Um, so it's been great for the business and then great for my uh, learning as well on the programme. Push yourself and do it. I pushed myself out of my comfort zone to even apply and every step closer I got to getting it was a, was a boost for me and then I got it and you know it's it's helped me incredibly over the first year, so you know the next year and a half should be should be great. I think just get stuck into it. Um, you know, it's an age-old thing. Um, you get out what you put in, and I think it's just it's just a really exciting course to be on. Um, I love it. It is hard work, but um, yeah, we've all kind of seen the benefits. So in terms of hints and tips, I think um, yeah, just 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 get stuck into it. I think. <laughs>